Hello, it's lovely to be back with you to join in this service of evening worship. Yesterday, we celebrated the feast of St. Matthew the Apostle, and I reread the passage in Matthew's Gospel about the call of the disciples. Jesus went up the mountain and called to him those whom he wanted, and they came to him. And he appointed twelve, whom he also named apostles, to be with him and to be sent out to proclaim the message and to have authority to cast out demons. So he appointed the twelve, Simon, to whom he gave the name Peter, James, son of Zebedee, and John, the brother of James. To these two he gave the name of Boanerges, that is, sons of thunder, and Andrew, and Philip, and Bartholomew, Matthew, and Thomas, and James, son of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus, and Simon the Canaanite, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. The disciples. We hear a lot about some of them, and next to nothing about the rest. They include local fishermen from the surrounding area, and goodness, what a mixed bunch. Among them, there was Matthew, who said to have been a tax collector before he became a disciple. And Simon, who was first brought to Jesus by his brother Andrew. He was named Peter by Jesus and commissioned to be the rock on which the church would grow. Yet Simon Peter is also remembered as the person who denied even knowing Jesus after he was arrested. The other Simon came from Cana. He's also referred to as a zealot, which suggests he might have been a member of a fanatical political group, or perhaps simply someone with strong opinions. And Thaddeus is also known as Nathaniel. And then there was Judas, infamous for his betrayal of Jesus after the Last Supper. Yet in that we see how God brings good out of things that seem to be terrible. The actions of Judas led to our Lord's death, but they ultimately led to the resurrection from the dead and to the church of which we are now a part. The fact that the disciples were such a motley crew shows us that Jesus calls people from many walks of life and their stories illustrate that God uses even everyday people to fulfil his purpose for the world. Matthew used to be credited as the author of the gospel that bears his name, but more recent scholarship has disputed this. It records that before Jesus ascended into heaven, he commissioned his disciples, go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. It didn't mean that those who Jesus called to follow him were miraculously transformed into models of perfection. After all, they were ordinary people just like you and me. And today and every day, 
Jesus calls us to witness to his love and his promise in our everyday lives. Let's listen to some words from a song by John Bell. Will you come and follow me if I but call, call your name? Will you go where you don't know and never be the same? Will you let my love be shown? Will you let my name be known? Will you let my love be grown in you and you in me? Will you leave yourself behind if I have to call your name? Will you care for cruel and kind and never be the same? Will you use the faith you found to reshape the world around through my sight and touch and sound in you and you in me? At this time of day, it's always good to look back on our day at the things we've done and the things we wished we'd done, the things we've not done, the things we'd rather not have done, and bring them to Jesus, knowing that for good and for bad, God will fulfill his purpose through us. So we reflect on our day and we ask the Lord for his love and forgiveness. Lord, forgive what we have been. Help us to amend what we are and direct what we shall by your grace become. And may we live to your praise and glory. Amen. Lord God, we thank you for your church and for the faithful witness of Christians throughout the ages, saints, apostles, martyrs, and Oh, ordinary people like us, we thank you for those whose writings have informed us, whose lives have inspired us, and we pray that you will guide and inspire by your Spirit all who lead and guide the Church in our day. May we always recognise your call and respond with eagerness and trust in your purpose for our lives. Open our eyes to the world around us that we may imitate the pattern of your life and live in love and service to one another for the glory of your holy name. Amen. Lord, you taught us how to pray. So we pray together in the words that you have given us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Lord, 
your summons echoes true when you but call my name. Let me turn and follow you and never be the same. In your company I'll go where your love and footsteps show. Then I'll move and live and grow in you and you in me. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be upon us and may his blessing be with us today and always. Amen. got 12 minutes so oh, that's nice Don't look at it there, look at it here. Oh shit, go away.